All right, what's up, y'all? So uh, I had some people on my YouTube uh, asking about issues with using the inflate, the way that I do fingers and things like that. You get broken clay. So I'm just going to show you exactly how I do it. So we're going to use, let's use a different sphere. So let's delete this and just add another sphere because this sphere is only going to be 6146. The other one, the, the generic one, is a lot more dense. So we'll just validate this. And we're going to use inflate tool. So when I make fingers, let's turn symmetry off. So I'm using inflate. I don't know where I usually have it. Let's just put it at 50 for this, the intensity, and go like this. So when you bring it up, it is going to start breaking, like it's going to start kind of losing its shape. So here's a second tier here, and then a third tier. And see, it starts to look very granulated and broken. I want to see what it looks like. The thing is, I wonder if some people have smooth shading off. I feel like some people, they have smooth shading off and it will always look like this and they're always trying to get it smooth, but it just won't because there's they don't have smooth shading on. So I just want to touch on that. Just make sure that smooth shading is on auto for me, which is on. Automatic is on for me. So you want to have smooth shading. Otherwise, it's just not going to, you're not going to get it smooth. Now you can't just do it. You can't just use inflate and then smooth it because everything will melt back into itself. If I try to smooth this, it's just going to melt back into itself. So once I do this and I make some other fingers, like let's say I make some other fingers here. We'll give them the old Ninja Turtle two finger. Um, I don't know why his thumb would be so small, but that's okay. So what I then do is voxel remesh. This is the shortcut down here. So I just voxel remesh around like 200. So that'll like solidify everything. But see how it's blocky? So anytime I voxel remesh something and it's blocky like this, what I do is I go into these settings and I subdivide it. So I subdivide it so that way like there's just more polygons here that will allow it to sub will allow it to remesh without having to like stretch. So essentially we just multiplied all of the pieces inside of our clay. And that just makes it easier to easier to stretch. So everything is not so blocky. So now if we try it again at 200, see we have less. I can probably do the same thing again, um, but I don't know if it's worth it. So if I subdivide again, it's really big. And again, this will be less here. But like, is it worth it? Because now it's 124. So normally what I would do is if I didn't want it blocky, I would maybe do a one multi-res one time, 24.5. Then I'd voxel remesh to make it nice and tight and strong. And then I would use my smooth and I would just smooth out these like, oh, it's still 126K. Oh, well. Anyway, we'll deal with that too since I'm, since we're here. So this is this is what I would do. And then you can sort of manipulate it, you know, if you want a little bit of a bend in them or something like that, you can you can kind of do that. You can manipulate them a little bit, maybe flatten out the palm. So that's pretty much what I would do. But obviously this is too big. So I wouldn't worry about it if I was going to merge it with like other shapes, like if I had an arm or something here and I was like, okay, like. I'm just gonna merge it with this arm. Let's just validate this. Because I'm not too worried about the size of everything until I need to, until I need to be worried about it. I hate when like there's all these things in the way and I can't get to what I need to on Gizmo. It never ends. Anyway, so like if this was an arm and I was bringing everything together. I wouldn't worry about the size of anything individually. So I would just voxel remesh them together. And then I would continue to, you know, just make it look exactly how I want. You can see it already went down. And then at the very end, once I had all my detail and everything, then I would go ahead and go to MISC and decimate and just bring the size down. And you can see, like, you can't really tell the difference. But if I had to do anything else, add details or something, I wouldn't decimate it. I wouldn't bring it down this low because it's just not going to look good. Um, so you don't want to decimate until the very end of whatever you're doing. 
Uh, so hopefully that helps. Make sure to check out, make sure that you have smooth shading on and play with the multi-res and the voxel remesh. That will get you a smooth mesh. So hopefully that helps. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video.